Understanding the phrase, white flag moment, in English. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're going to dive into an interesting English phrase, white flag moment. This expression is not just about words, but about the rich cultural and historical context they carry. So, let's explore what this phrase means, how it's used, and some examples to help you understand it better. The phrase, white flag moment, originates from the historical use of white flags. Traditionally, a white flag is used as a symbol of surrender, indicating a desire to stop fighting or an admission of defeat. This imagery has been adopted into language, creating the metaphorical phrase, white flag moment. In this context, a white flag moment refers to a time when someone decides to stop resisting, arguing, or fighting against something. It can be a moment of giving up, yielding, or accepting a situation as it is. Understanding how to use white flag moment in a sentence is crucial. Here are some examples. 1. In a personal context, after years of struggling to make his business work, John had a white flag moment and decided to close it. 2. In a relationship, when they realized their arguments were hurting their relationship, they had a white flag moment and sought counseling. 3. In a conflict or dispute, the two countries had a white flag moment and started peace negotiations. These examples show how the phrase can be applied in various scenarios, signifying a point of relinquishment or acceptance. The phrase, white flag moment, is more than just about giving up. It often implies a wise or pragmatic decision to avoid further loss or harm. In many cultures, admitting defeat is not always seen as a weakness. Instead, it can be viewed as a moment of clarity, wisdom, or a strategic choice for a greater good. We hope this video helps you understand the phrase, white flag moment, and how it's used in the English language. Remember, language is not just about words, it's about the stories and meanings behind them. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more interesting English language content. Keep learning, and see you in the next video.